Yo, yo, yo. Epic Bongzilla here. Up on Sonic Frontiers. Well, actually up on the Rhea Jinx emulator. And I was just going to do a nice little st stability test. And kind of tell people what they should expect when playing. And kind of show them what they'll see if they try to play it on this uh, platform. So, with that being said, let's get it started. You'll see at the bottom, I left all the statistics up so that, uh, you know, you can see how it's running for yourselves. So, yeah. Let's get in here. So I've done a little testing with this uh, game on Ryu Jinx, and there's only one real issue that I've encountered. So we'll go ahead and address it right here. If you look, I have an incredibly low frame rate right now. And don't be weary. When you first load into the sandbox, you will get a very low frame rate for about a minute but after that everything should stabilize and you'll be able to see just how the game actually runs So there you see, it's stabilized. An important thing to note is when you start the game, you won't load into the sandbox. You will play through a map or like a, a typical Sonic level. And it won't be laggy until after you complete that level and load in. So let's go ahead and run around and kind of show how it performs. I'll do my best not to look like doogie but i haven't played too much and it's been a minute since i played some sonic so i'll try to be quick but this is more about showing off how it performs Alright, so when you start the game, you'll actually drop in here, so I'll kind of like show you know what it looks like, uh, you know, when you're running from the intro. Try not to kill anything. Like I said, I don't know much about this game myself, 
I'm just starting it as well. Now I really don't know the controls too well in this game, I have to read maps and stuff, but as you can see it runs pretty well, and I have a pretty basic computer, my specs aren't anything too high, so I've got that NVIDIA Jetforce GTX 1650 and i5, and uh, the RAM draw honestly is barely 8 gigs if you check your performance, so anything above 8 gigs will easily run this. Return to the digital dimension again. Use that gear to bridge the gap between dimensions.
So yeah, I didn't want this stream to be anything too long. As I said, I just wanted to kind of show like what you're dealing with if you uh, try to emulate this on Reajinx. I think it runs pretty well, and obviously there's room for improvements. I'm running on the most modern version of Reajinx with the newest uh, firmware installed to the Switch, or the newest Switch firmware installed. And yeah, that's about it. If you found this video useful, you're welcome to hit me with a like, a comment, or a sub. Any combination of those is greatly appreciated. And yeah, uh, computer specs will be in the description below. And I'll catch you all later. It's been Epic Bongzilla. Peace.